staff and administrative team. I'd like to extend a warm, heartfelt, and proud welcome to you, our guests and graduates, to Newfield High School's graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. <laughs> Lastly, of course, from our building administrator, Assistant Principal Dean Constantinopoulos, Assistant Principal Lori Mazza, and of course, your senior class administrator, Kim Peelin. I also need to extend the thank you to our custodial team, buildings and grounds department, and our security team for our beautiful evening. And most importantly, a big thank you to our graduation director, Jill Gomez, for the planning and organizing of tonight's ceremony. Every year, it's a process for me to determine what message I want to send to all of you, our graduates. In thinking of speeches from the past, I've written welcome addresses focusing on topics like adversity, resilience, adaptability, and perseverance, to name a few. Having started your high school careers the year that COVID hit, you've almost all have certainly dealt with your fair share of adversity. Through your first two years of high school, you all adapted to your new environment, no. virtual or not. It you were resilient, and obviously sitting here before us, you most certainly have persevered. Rather than go into detail again on any one of those topics, important to revisit my message from last year. The importance and the absolute need to maintain real life human connections. Our Surgeon General Vice Admiral Vivek Murthy stated, Vivek Murthy stated, the problems that we do. Just remember to follow step six and stay in touch. Thank you. At this time, please help me welcome to the podium Newfield High School Class of 2023 salutatorian, Ms. Leah Landron. Congratulations. I know you've all battled mountains of homework and cried a river larger than the puddle sometimes at the school entrance to be here, <laughs> but you've made it. And today we are here to celebrate and to give a grand goodbye to everyone who has brought us from wild elementary schoolers to mature high schoolers. We must hand a huge thank you to parents and guardians and family and friends for supporting us while speaking out against our more reckless. So as we start gaining confidence in our knowledge, let's promise to start raising our hands high because no one cares if you flub the answer. It's okay to not know. There will always be someone who knows things that you don't and there will always be things you know that others don't. But don't let that stop you from trying and learning new things. Intelligence isn't a one size fits all. Being smart enough to ace a class doesn't guarantee life success. You're more street smart, knowing how to balance commitments and work while under stress. It is important to recognize that our journey does not end here. The challenges and uncertainties of the world await us. But remember, we are equipped with the knowledge, skills, and resilience gained from our experiences at Nayfield. It is our duty to utilize these tools to make a positive impact on the world around us. In the face of adversity, we must remember the importance of perseverance. 
There will be times when we stumble and encounter setbacks, but it is in those moments that our true strength is revealed. Embrace failure as a stepping stone to success and never be afraid to take risks. Remember, great achievements often require great sacrifices, and it is through determination and hard work that we will attain our goals. But let us not forget the camaraderie and resilience that has defined our time. In heart, congratulations. We have reached this point because of our hard work, dedication, and unwavering belief in ourselves. As we move forward, let us remember the lessons we've learned here and the val values we hold dear. We need to strive for excellence, not only for our own success, but for of our communities and the world at large. Go forth and make your mark. Chase your dreams with unyielding determination. Embrace the unknown with open arms. And never forget the lessons we have learned and the friendships we have forged. Congratulations again. And may our futures be filled with endless opportunities and boundless joy. Thank you. I don't think he will. And neither will we. <laughs> Graduates, please rise. Thank you. Good evening, graduates, parents, family, and friends. While this day is always one of my favorites, it's a little more special this year, for I too have a graduate in this audience. I closed my eyes and I was putting her on the bus, watching her climb those steps, turn around, and wave goodbye with a big smile as she leaves for her first day of kindergarten. Now I look out amongst a sea of smiling, familiar faces before me, and I wonder how we got here so fast, how we went from sitting in the audience at kindergarten moving up ceremony, watching our children walk out in paper caps and an oversized dress shirt on backwards, to seeing you all sitting here before us in our, your actual cap and gown awaiting your diploma. Since I've known a lot of you many since pre-K, I will leave you all with some motherly advice as you are about to embark on the next chapter of your life. Remember to always live in the moment and do what makes you happy. Step out of your comfort zone. Embrace the good along with the bad. Don't be afraid to fail because it's in those moments that we have our greatest growth. True success does not happen until you experience failure. Be kind, be bold, be brave. Be adventurous, but never forget your way back home. The whole world is in the palm of your hands, and I know without a shadow of a doubt that your generation will change the world. To quote Amanda Gordon, we are the good news we have been looking for, demonstrating that every dusk holds a dawn disguised within it. Today we don't burst into a new world, we begin it. On behalf of the Middle Country Board of Education, we accept the graduating class of 2023. Congratulations. Graduates, please be seated. At this time, we will begin our presentation of diplomas.
valedictorian Zarif Rezwan. Salutatorian Leah Landron. Zeta Hernandez Mendieta. Gianna Gutigliano. Gwen Schechner. Elissa Spuna. Rose Fernandez. <laughs> Nicholas Rodriguez. Brianna Sanfilippo. Isabella Warner. Caitlin Ackerley. Muhammad Ahmed. Safe Akush. Anthony Alberti. Daiva Ali. Samuel Allen. Isabella Alonzo. Iman Amir. Helen Franco Benoni. Melissa Barrows. Daniel Bortho. Caitlin Bates. Gianna Benedetto. Dylan Beninati. Zachary Berenson. Matthew Bravo. Anthony Breslin. Christopher Brinker. Maddie Brooks. Michael Brooks. Noah Rubin Ruin. Israel Browning. Javier Michael Galopi. Fabian Galvis. Paulina Garcia. Sean Gary Valentine. Adrian Yamarowski. Anthony Gable. Aunt Mia Nelson Zelaya. Mary Nostromo. Kyle Rosenhaus. Pablo Rubio. Ricardo Santiago. Sofia Santiago. Kayla Sasso. Daniel Savage. Giovanna Scalzo. Daniel Scarlato. Joseph Shivani III. Daniel Schmutz. Christian Schnell.
Shabin Sayed. Andras Siva. Tasmin Tanha. Dylan Tao. Evelyn Tavares Janelle. Justin Terwilliger. Lori Devnan. Ryan Thor. Samuel Torres. Yes. James yes. Tremblay. Turkey Burger. Alita Trudy. Turkey Burger. Turkey Burger. Turkey Burger. Yo, Turkey Burger. Cameron Unger. Delaney Unger. Elizabeth Vanek. Jasmine Mantarini. Yanin Vargas. Vincent Varone. Jacqueline Vaughn. Isabella Yanadi. Ava Wolf. Hey. Zanhua Zeng. Sanaya Xavier. Alexander Zlokovic. Jennifer Sine. Alexander Velasquez. Melanie Fernandez. They're gonna throw their hats. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite our senior class president, Rose Fernandez, to the podium for the turning of the tassels. Thank you.